Agárralos, papito. Coquero. Agárralo. Mira el pichón. Mira, está comiendo el pichón. Go, buddy! Tell the abuelito, go! Where are you, abuelo? Y el significado de la pintura es el chamán, el brujo, el sacerdote, que era la persona más sabia, la más iluminada. De abajo para arriba pueden ver que tiene sus pies, que tiene sus manos y cabeza. Arriba de él están las dos líneas en forma de triángulo, que significa protección, pero también es una altepe. ¿sí? Y arriba está el sol, los rayos entran y salen en el equinoccio de la primavera. Esta piedra volcánica se llama tesonte, es lo que usaba el chamán para pintar. Haz los ojitos, papi. Haz los ojitos. Haz los ojitos, grandpa.
That's what happens. See? That's what happens. <laughs> and you still don't learn, do you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna show this to mom because you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Agárrese. Uh, 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 el toro. Ahí viene el toro. <laughs> agárrate, agárrate. Agárrate. <laughs> Aquí estoy. <laughs> Órale, <risa> jinete. Órale, jinete. Agárrese. Agárrese, jinete. He's not. I got him. Agárrate. Agárrese, jinete. Agárrese. What's up, let's be fair. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, and uh, Bunny is off today because Cash has his nine month appointment. He's getting shots today? No, no shots. No shots today. Shit. Uh oh. Man down. He's fine. Um, so we are getting ready to start our day to um, get out of the house and get to his appointment, which is at like 11 o'clock. But right now, uh, right now, what are you making? I'm going to make a keto breakfast because I am on this keto diet with you and our other friend. Uh -huh. And I've lost six pounds, guys. So it's been very hard for me to lose this weight. And the fastest, easiest way that it has ever happened is by doing this keto stuff. So I'm but going to stick to it. What is what is keto? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm just cooking keto, and that's all I know. So if you guys aren't familiar with keto, keto basically is a high-fat low carb diet um and people get it mixed up with just like being able to eat a shit ton of protein you do have to eat protein but you have to eat more fats like healthy fats so like avocados and coconut oils and butters and um olive oils and stuff like that like good fat um your diet has to be high in that i've been on it strong for like almost two months i have had a cheat day or two here there but I've lost a significant amount of weight and I feel a lot better about myself um, when Vanessa was pregnant I gained a ton of sympathy weight a ton of sympathy weight like I got to my heaviest weight of like 201 pounds like that's fucking fat for me I'm sorry um, I'm only like barely 5'4 so um, and Vanessa decided to get it get on it with me because she saw like my results, and she's been having a hard time losing the baby fat, right, babe? Yeah, I've been having a really hard time because I still eat like I'm pregnant. <laughs> and so it's just been very hard for me to just lose it. Like, I feel like I lost a bunch of, like, the weight when I was, like, breastfeeding. And then I stopped breastfeeding, which was only for, like, two months that I breastfed. And then, like, the last, what, 20, 15 pounds, like, it's been very hard for me to lose, so... And we have a deal. What's our <laughs> What's our deal? So this is how she caught me. So if I get down to 120? 125. If I get down to fine. 125 by January 1st, then we get to start the process for another baby. <laughs> That's the deal. If she gets down to 125, I told her January by January 1st, we can 
start the process after her 30th birthday of having another baby. So we'll see. Anyways, we're going to get breakfast started. Um, Where is the freaking Italian seasoning? We never had Italian yes, seasoning. Yes, we did. Well, I've never used it. We had the herb seasoning. Ugh. Anyways, we're going to get our breakfast started. Um, and I'm going to get cash changed and get myself situated. And we will be right back. Bye. Where I'm teething. Oh, poor thing. Nine whole months with this little munchkin. Wow. Time does fly. I remember being pregnant not too long ago. I swear it was yesterday that I was pregnant with him. And I was just throwing up every single day of my life for about 23 weeks. And now look at him. He is not an alien looking baby anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he was so ugly when he came out. He, he was hideous. He had like a big old alien head, cone head, and everything. And now he's just a little person that... Now he has the best smile ever. Ugh, he has all these teeth big old teeth and this great smile and laugh and his head is finally growing into wait his body's finally growing into his head is that it is that how you say it (laughs) sure um he's just beautiful I really don't know and I cannot see my life without him he has been truly a blessing and We are completely blessed to have him and just to be able to enjoy and see him grow. How do you feel? Same. I couldn't imagine my life without him. He is the most beautiful little boy. And he's like hella funny too. His personality, you guys, is hilarious everything (laughs) like he is such a silly boy he is always smiling unless you're a complete stranger then it's stranger danger (laughs) but for the most part he's a really happy baby and i have absolutely no complaints about him none none um it hasn't completely been easy (laughs) but it's definitely been fun and it's getting funner yeah, and he is he is amazing. Legit, I have no complaints. None at all. We got very lucky. He's a very easy baby. Other than stranger danger and big crowds, other than that, he's a very, very, very easygoing kid. And as you can see, a ginormous he baby. He is 23.02 pounds and 31 and a half inches long. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we both are short, and um, it looks like our son is going to tower over us at the age of five. So, 
prepare. We're preparing ourselves for that. But I mean, there's like maybe ten percent of it that he, <laughs> that he gets yeah. goes in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, and then my aunt kind of gives him a taste of everything, which okay. I love, and he eats a lot with them. He loves okay. fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fruit is like his thing right now. Yeah. Um, okay. But he's doing really, really good. Okay. Yeah. And so, then still with the bottle though, I feel like he prefers. He still like he'll still drink five five bottles, bottles. a day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It hasn't. Yeah. I thought with eating it would be less, but. Mm -mm. Yeah. So still. we're gonna now sort of once like this whole sort of trajectory of like. Now he's tasted a ton of stuff, it sounds like. He's yeah. feeling better. So yeah, the next three months is gonna be more where like they start to get more and more nutrition from the food. So we are all done with Cashton's doctor's appointment and he is a really big boy. Yeah. He's in the 99th percentile for height, 93 for weight. Yeah. And what for his head? 99. 99 for so his 95 or something. 95 for his head. So he was in the 99th percentile for his head. So it actually. 100th percentile. Oh, 100th percentile for his head. So now his body's actually catching up to his head. So that's awesome. But now, since um, flu season is upon us, we all have to get flu shots. How did your flu shot go? It was terrible. <laughs> they put you in a room with all these other people trying to get a flu shot and everybody's just watching you like. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your. So it's not like you even have any privacy. <laughs> to what? To like breathe and to like. <laughs> Freak out? <laughs> be to yourself. I hate, I'm not the type of person, like, I hate when people stare at me. So that was just, like, fucking torture. I had to get a flu shot and everyone was staring at me. Six and a half hours late. I think that is going to be the end of this, so... I'm sweating like a pig. What would you like to say, doll? Subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. Subscribe again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a friend. All right, we'll see you guys later. Say bye, Poosh. See ya. Peace. Hello. Watch, watching you, watching you, like.